I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna tell you. This one, I'm proud. Buddy. I said to my friend, my bro, I'm so pissed. I've got two shampoos. Wait, did you know? Like, what the did? Why would you take me back to school shopping with a shoplifter? Like, why would you do that? So yeah, I go to Walmart. Probably the first mistake I made. I go to Walmart to get me some like shampoo and conditioner because I ran out of my shampoo and conditioner, so now I gotta get a new one. So I get this one. It's a shampoo. Then I was like, oh my gosh, I need a conditioner. But then I get this. It's a link shake. It's and I said, I'm coming to get this. And then guess what it say? Shampoo. I sent to my friend, I'm like, bro, I'm so pissed. I've got two fucking shampoo. I look close at it and I say, wait a damn minute. This is say Heritage by Mindy McKnight. I never met a black bitch named Mindy. Have you ever met a black bitch named Mindy? Bitch, I Google her. This is a white YouTuber. I done got bamboozled. So now I'm upset. What the fuck? So yesterday was the first day of school and that reminded me of this one time when I was younger. My dad took me back to school with a boost. So listen, one day my father picked me up, take me to the mall and the car is this girl. I never met this girl before, but my daddy is a hoe. Like he keeps women a plenty. So we go to American Eagle. My daddy basically just leaves me there with this girl that I don't know her name. And like, she kind of look a little, how can I say run down in a nice way? It was like real hood, real gutter butt. Anyway, so her gutter butt ass, you know, she was cool though. She was a real cool go to butt girl. Like, so then we keep on going around. She was like, pick like two more pairs of jeans. So I go try them on. She come to the back with me. While I'm like going in, like, you know, showing her the pants. She was like, oh yeah, those fit good. I'll take them off. She was like, let me hold them. So then I go back in and then I come out and I don't see her holding the pants no more. So I'm out here. I'm just like, where the pants go? Afterwards, she was like, okay, you want to go like get some more? I'm like, okay, yeah, let's go look around for some more pants. And so then I'll start I'm, like looking over. It's like I give her the pants. She start fidgeting. I'm like, fuck is this bitch doing? This bitch fidgeting because she's taking off the sensors. She's taking off the fucking sensors. Mind you, I'm a good ass kid. And she was like, don't be looking at me. You're gonna get us, you gonna get us called. Like, don't be looking at me. You got just keep walking around, keep looking around, just keep moving around. Bitch, I'm shook. I'm shook. I'm just over here shaking and shit, looking at different clothes. I'm just like, I don't even want no more pants. I'm just cool with the ones I got. Bitch, I came out of there with two jeans. And she's like, okay, you wanna go to any more stores? And I'm just like, I'm done. Like, this is all I really need. I only need is some pants. Like, what type of shit is that? Why would you take me back to school shopping with a shoplifter? Like, why would you do that? You could have just went shoplifting with her and just didn't let me out of it. Now you got me being this bitch accomplice. I don't even know this girl. So this the type of shit I be talking about. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's my life. I don't know why I thought about that. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm cute, ain't I? <laughs> do this. Oh, it's recording. <laughs> Not you tried to catch me up. Yikes, my hair look old, I know. I gotta get my hair done again for Cabo. You bitches can't even spell Cabo. You bitches don't even know where Cabo is. You bitches don't even have a passport. You bitches don't even have a man. I've always wanted to say that. Anyway, so we finna go to Jersey Mike's. I've never been there before, but we only going because Sydney hungry. I think I, what I mean by that is I think your coochie probably a little dirty. You know, niggas love a bitch with a little twang. It's just got a little seasoning on. But no, this is my first time seeing Sydney this year. I haven't seen her since last year. I was considering leaving her in 2023, but I decided not to. Well, I almost lose my Tiffany earrings. I was gonna throw up. Then this bitch tried to play me like, I got my earrings from Shein. Like, bitch, no. She's like, I got the same earrings on uh, Shein. She's like, this you got yours? And I was like, no. She's like, you sure? And I was like, yeah. She's like, where you get yours? I was like, Tiffany. She's like, oh, Tiffany who? It's like, in company. She's like, who's that? I was like, it's a jury store. Clearly you wouldn't know what that is because you just said Tiffany who? And I'm talking about like I got the jury from another bitch. I'm irritated. What type of size of softies do you got? Cut your shit. Fuck just not a real bitch. This what the unproud bitch look like. A shameful bitch. <laughs> So guys, I got Jersey mics for the first time. <laughs> Baby, people 
slow as hell. But it's slow as hell. They don't know what two plus two equal. These hoes don't know shit. The only person that know the answers is me, cause bitch, I got the answer. I am um, I'm like Celeste, bitch. I got answers and I got days and I got I got time and I got opportunities. Bitches don't got opportunity. Bitches don't even know what the fuck opportunity look. Bitch, you wouldn't know what opportunity was if opportunity came in this hoe and slapped you in the face. You know what else bitches don't know? Bitches don't know accountability. A bitch can't spell accountability with her eyes focused on the words in the dictionary. Following that shit with a finger like this. And she read that shit word by word. That bitch won't understand accountability if she Googled every synonym and every antonym for that goddamn shit. A bitch wouldn't know what accountability was if she looked in the dictionary and saw an example of it. Because bitches lack accountability. And I just want people to get accountability. Because accountability is something that's like truly right in the world. And bitches just don't have, bitches don't have accountability. And maybe I'm bitches because I'm going so hard on this topic. Bitch, maybe I don't got accountability. Mm. At least I'm accountable enough to own that I don't got accountability. Mm. You ever just get up, get ready to go to class, and all you got to do is just walk out the door, and then you look at yourself in the mirror, and then you think to yourself, are we really finna go to class? I don't feel like it. But I gotta go. I'm really sabotaging myself because it's just like, I'm making this video, I'm still recording now, it's 12 12. In a minute, it's gonna be 12 15. By the time I get on campus to try to find a parking spot, it's gonna be 12 25. By the time I get out the car and start walking to class, it's gonna be 12 30. By the time I get out the parking garage, it's gonna be 12 35. By the time I get to class, it's gonna be 12 37. And like, I don't want to be late to class when, because it's like, if you miss class, why would you be late to the class you just missed? That's too much. That's too much. Because I already missed class Tuesday. And the reason I missed class Tuesday was because I was late to class Thursday. But then now I'm like, fuck, I already missed Tuesday. So then I'm not going to be late to class today. But then I'm just going to be like weird and awkward. Like that's going to make them, that's going to make an impression on the teacher. Now my anxiety, this is what anxiety is like. But I'm not claiming anxiety. I don't have anxiety. I don't have anxiety. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Devil, get away from me. And you got to say that. You really got to say that. Because honestly, it really make more sense for me just to be late to class today, even though I missed class Tuesday, because at least I'm fucking trying. Okay. Okay. Okay, Carrie. At least I'm fucking trying. But now, it's 12 fucking 15. I think I can make it the last 15 minutes. I don't know. I don't think I can. And then, and then it's not even, wow, hearing sounds different with this hoodie on. Like, I hear better. Wow. But no, it's like, because it's just like, to be honest, it's because it's a rainy day. Like, if the day wasn't cloudy, I will be in class right now. I'll be in class right now. And I'm not gonna say what Cash say because I'm working on myself. So on my, on my, bitch, on my highlighter, on my highlighter game, on my highlighter, I would've been in class today. I would've been in class today if it wasn't for the clouds. If it wasn't for the clouds in the sky. But it's 12, 15. I still got 15 minutes to get to class. And I'm not going. Okay, I'ma go. I'ma go. I'm, I'm gonna go to class. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going. Might as well just take this shit off. Oh, Cause I'm not, it's 1217. It's 1217. It's too late now. I was, knew I was gonna do this. It's too late. Cause I'm not going to class late. Like y'all don't understand. It's me. I'm the problem. And it's, <sighs> no, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say fuck it and just go. So I'm coming to terms that I'm a failure. And here's why. Well, no, I'm not going to refer to myself as a failure. I'm coming to terms with myself. I am a procrastinator. I'm a procrastinator because I just sat here and made myself not go to class by accident because I was going to go to class. I just laid in bed. I read my book, did other activities that wasn't getting ready. I basically danced in the mirror, listened to music, walked around in my head, just vibing to music. Vibing to the music. This is how you do it. Oh, I was just doing that. I was just doing nothing. My class started at 12th. I started getting ready at 12, bitch. So then I started recording and I started vlog, started talking to you guys about how bad I didn't want to go to class. And like my paralysis analysis paralysis, the analysis of the situation. I started thinking to myself like, damn, I should go to class. So now I gotta come to class from here on out to prove to myself and prove to this professor because now her first impression of me is late and he don't. So now I gotta keep coming until I can prove to her that I'll be in class. And then we get the class like 15% of the grade and I'm already fucking up. <laughs> I'm already fucking And it's my fault. It's my fault this is happening. <laughs> It's my fault. And I just gotta stop doing actions like 
this. No, this is not gonna get me far in life. This this type of behavior that I'm exhibiting is not gonna get me nowhere in life because I keep procrastinations. 